especially during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. In fact, it was so popular that it was named in Hertie's pattern. You know, impatient heirs could use it to acquire more quickly the family state. Some famous people who supposedly died from arsenic poisoning include Francesco de' Medici, King George III of Great Britain, Napoleon Bonaparte and Simon Bolivar. Because the symptoms are very similar to a gastrointestinal or respiratory infection, arsenic poisoning wasn't noticed until it was too late. Its symptoms include headaches, drowsiness, joint pain, cramps, vomit and diarrhea, among others. During the 19th century, arsenic compounds were commonly used as pigments in wallpapers, cosmetics and jewelry with fatal consequences. Arsenic is commonly found in air and soil, and in certain regions it is naturally present in drinking water or some types of food, like rice. Arsenic likes to combat with sulfur, and that is sulfur in the proteins of your hair, skin and nails. In fact, it stays in your hair even after death. Because of this, finding arsenic in victims' hair and nails has been used by police to determine murder by poisoning. Also, the arsenic has the gruesome ability to preserve the body as it prevents bacteria to decompose organic matter. It has not been fully established how the body reacts to arsenic, but in addition to binding to molecules containing sulfur, it interferes with the energy machinery in human cells, like a screw out of place. The cell is unable to continue to produce energy when this occurs, and emits an alert to close the factory, then the cell dies. On top of that, arsenic can also damage the cell's DNA and may cause cancer. On the bright side, because it's such a ruthless cell murderer, arsenic has been used as pesticide to fight malaria. As rat poison used widely in the sewers of Paris and therefore called Paris Green, or as a parasite killer given to poultry improving weight gain.